I'm not caping for him. But your options are, what are you going to do? So you've got Kenny Pickett in the middle of a – hold on a second. You've got Kenny Pickett in the middle of a rookie contract, mm-hmm. right there up in the middle. Mm-hmm. And if you want to know, hey, do we end up – like, do we end up needing to pick up that fifth-year option, you play him this year. And see how it goes – and your other options are, let's re-sign Mason Rudolph, and if the first month doesn't go well, you put Mason in there and we could see what's going on, or Mason beats him out. Because the last month of the Steelers' season, the offense looked completely different. And Arthur Smith's coming in. He's real. I understand he didn't work out in Atlanta, but he is a real deal offensive coordinator. And you could get, I know you're, you're, you don't want to hear it, you can get Tannehill. But I, I understand in this day and age where you got to beat Burrow and Lamar, and if Deshaun Watson shows up, like the old school Deshaun Watson, those are the guys you got to beat in your division. And is Kenny Pickett the guy that's going to go into battle? I understand that's why Steeler fans are like, get out of here with that. If we're getting a real offensive coordinator, in Arthur Smith, then let's go get a franchise quarterback who's already done it somewhere else. And mm-hmm. that's going to come at the freight of 40 something million bucks a year. Unless. In Kirk Cousins, unless what? J- Russell Wilson. Do you really think Russell's the guy for Pittsburgh? He'll he'll perform better than what we saw over the last couple of years? I think he'll perform better than Kenny Pickett or Mason Rudolph. Bingo. So with, with those receivers? You, we all say Russell Wilson is one of the best deep balls in football, right, to this day. So let's throw, go. Pick, throw Pickens it. and DJ, Deontay Johnson, none of those passes. They're not going to do it, obviously, because it's not the Steeler way. No, but, but the Steeler way. Right. Like, but he, he will be a free he'll be agent. Free. He'll, he'll be Russell a free Wilson agent. He'll basically be free. And he could, I, exactly. He, he, could come cheaper than, he could come cheaper than Kenny Pickett. No. All these because, things you say are making sense, right? Because but. he he's, he's <laughs> making the money from Denver. Mm-hmm. He can give any team that wants him the ultimate new home, new hometown discount. Yes. Because what does it matter? He's already generationally rich, but um, he's also one of the highest paid quarterbacks this year based on a contract that he appears to not be willing to redo in any way, shape, or form to stay in Denver. Don't blame him. So maybe that's your option. Steelers fans, because I, I, I certainly I certainly wasn't hearing. Well, they're going to go and you know trade for Justin Fields. Would you rather have Justin Fields, where you've got to pick up a fifth year option on him and give up draft capital, or get Russell Wilson, where you probably have to pay him n- next to nothing, and you don't give up anything for him? I would say the latter on that one, R- Russ. Chris. You take Russ over Justin Fields? Oh. If you're just talking in terms of money. I don't know. Justin's young, and you want to put some somebody. I, I, I would take Fields, even though it's going to cost you too. 20 million. It's, it's going to cost you a lot of scratch. Not though. that much. It's going to cost you a guaranteed fifth year. Right. And then. And then you could see. See? And don't you think he would just put a big old jolt into the system that Steeler fans are asking for, and that Arthur Smith had, again, look up Tannehill's numbers with him. And Tannehill, do you know the number of times that Tannehill would run it in when they could give it to Der- Derrick Henry? Yes, but uh, signing Tannehill does not excite the fan base. No, what I'm saying is the system. Sure. Plug and Justin Fields into that role. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm saying. Real good run game, Jalen Warren, Najee. Oh, I'm not saying to sign Tannehill. I'm just take a look at what Tannehill was doing in this man's system. Oh, and, and you're going to have Fields now into that. Right? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With Najee in the role of Henry. Right. I like that. And Jalen Warren. That's exciting. And yeah. George Pickens. And what I was saying was just based on a salary cap thing when you're talking Russ and Justin. No, I hear you. But, yeah, you've won Fields. But the thing is, they're not going to do either of those things. Because no, it's not the Steeler no, way. No, like they, no. they they complain that they no. are, are winning games and never having losing seasons. But then it doesn't seem like the fan base wants to take any chances that would get them over the hump. I might be speaking out of, out of turn, but that's what it seems like to me. All right. I don't blame you. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free. 